this time, I'd like to invite our keynote speaker to give the dedication remarks. Please give a warm welcome to New York's 7th Congressional District Representative, Congresswoman Nadia Velasquez. Yeah, good morning. Good morning, everyone. It is, I am so excited. I am so thrilled. And I am so proud that today, as a community, we gathered here to write our own history. No longer will others will write the history of Asian Americans' contribution to this country. No longer, and Dr. Juan, you said something really important. When you were in school, you did research about the suffrage and the fight uh, to get equal rights, voting rights for women. Yet, you didn't know about Dr. Lee, Mabel Lee, role and contributions. And that is a problem. It's a problem that we do not know our heroes, that we have been denied when you go into the public school system and you look at curriculum, so many times we are denied our place in the history books. So it is up to us to make sure that we take decisions to honor those who came before us. I will not stand here before you as the first Puerto Rican woman to serve in the House of Representatives if we didn't have for the contributions and the role of people and women like Dr. Mabel Lee. I stand in her shoulder. And so, when students, Asian American students, go to school or pass by the postal service, it is important for them to see themselves, to see that there is a role for the Asian American community to play and the contributions that the Asian American community has made to this country. It is important for those who are in position of power to know that this is a nation of immigrants, yes. yes. that diversity has been the strength of our nation. And if we truly understand the meaning of this nation being a beacon of hope, we will not be so polarized at this moment in time in our nation. So it is our responsibility, each one of us, to reclaim, to reclaim our place in this nation, in the story and the history of our nation. Look at the legion. How many of these men and women have fought, making the ultimate sacrifice to defend and protect our homeland. They fought for the liberties and the freedoms that we enjoy. It is our responsibility to recognize their value and their contribution. And so, when we are gathering here today, in this small, wonderful church, the important thing to realize is the historical significance of this First Baptist Church and the role that a woman Dr. Mabel Lee, 
who education was in economics, and yet, look what she decided to do. She decided to come home, to play a role, to help, to bring hope to the children of this community. How many in this community benefited from the work that Dr. Mabel D did? So I am so thrilled that after being in Washington last week, <laughs> come home and be in my community to celebrate the contribution of a remarkable, remarkable Asian American woman. But it is more fitting and more rewarding for me not only to pass the legislation, but to be here today honoring her at a time when record numbers of women ran for office and won. So let me just say this. The U.S. House of Representatives will never be the same. <laughs> Over 100 women got elected and now will be responsible in making sure that we bring back to the legislative vocabulary compromise, the word compromise. You know, you will never get a perfect bill. I introduce a bill and then we sit down and negotiate. So, for the last 15 years, if I introduce a bill, the other side didn't want to, come to do anything. Now, with the women in Congress, we are more prone to sit down, put our differences aside, and get results for the American people. That is what the American people want us to do, and that is what we are doing. some remarks and I just I'm talking to you from my heart but I want to I want to thank I want to thank the US Postal Service for helping putting this uh, event together and I also want to recognize Senator Kirsten Gillibrand because she introduced the companion bill to my legislation in the Senate so that President Trump uh, signed this legislation honoring Dr. Lee. So what, can, what else can I say? She was a trailblazer. She was a pioneer. And when we look around in this room, we see so many incredible people. From Virginia Key to Jenny Law, Mr. Eng, all of you, Susan Stetzer, everyone, you have been, you reflect the commitment and the spirit of Dr. Mabel Lee to make sure that we provide a better tomorrow to our children. And that is the ultimate commitment that we can make. She may be who have gone to work in corporate America next door at Wall Street, but yet her heart told her something else. She wanted to come here to experiment, to show that when you put together a holistic approach that will deal with issues from child care to education, to health care, that we will get a stronger community. And Chinatown is a vibrant community today because of the work of Dr. Mabel Lee and the many other who follow her footsteps. And that is the commitment that we have to make to renew our spirit, to renew our commitment, to make sure that we're gonna leave a Chinatown better than what we got. 
That is the commitment that we have to make to every child in a nation that is so wealthy, in a nation that is so powerful that no child should go to bed hungry, no child should suffer because you don't have access to health care. And that is all we want to do in honoring Dr. Mabel Lee. Thank you very much. When I walked in and I saw the many leaders here, let me just mention Eric Dane, Susan Stetzer, the American Legion. I know that um, Gigi is here representing um, Margaret Chin, Councilwoman, um, Jenny Law, Fiona Pong, Daisy Pius, Adam Chen, Matthew Washington, Deputy Borough President, uh, Gail Brewer, Alice De La Cruz, the Governor's Cuomo's Office, Representative also from Assemblywoman uh, Union New. Uh, thank you all, and uh, of course the uh, United States Postal Service. Uh, thank you for your presence here. Thank you for coming together, and thank you for renewing your commitment to make sure that we make this country continue to. I just want to remind you something. No one has to make sure that we make this country great. This country always be great. 